Do you wish there were more fields on the registration form for your Joomla site? In this video, we'll show you how to add more fields, custom fields. Hey there, Joomla fans. Tim Davis here. I'm a Joomla fan too. Thanks for tuning in to another video here on the Basic Joomla Tutorials YouTube channel where I show you my favorite extensions, tools, and tips for building and maintaining Joomla sites. I also work on Joomla sites, so if you're looking to hire someone short-term or long-term or even just to get you out of a spot, uh, drop me an email, tim at cybersalt.com. This video is brought to you by mysites.guru. Head on over to mysites.guru and get a free site audit for your Joomla site and check out all the tools and information that will save you time and money managing one or more Joomla sites. And if you decide to, su to subscribe, use the coupon code BASICJOOMLA. All right, Alan James makes great Joomla tutorials and uh, I've been uh, he's been giving me permission to share his tutorials here on the channel. So how to add uh, custom fields to the Joomla registration form? Take it away, Alan. Hi folks, this tutorial is going to deal with adding custom fields to the user registration form. Now before we do this, I just want to show you what Joomla has switched off by default. But if you activate it, you get more options on your form. This is what the normal form looks like before you activate the user profile plugin. So if you go over here to the front page and you click on create an account, that's what you get there. Name, username, password, confirm, email address. So if you go back over to the back end and go into plugins, and you search for the word profile, you get this user profile plugin which is disabled by default. So if you click on that, and then we go back to the front end and then do a refresh, it gives us these extra fields here on the page. which is great, but they might not be the fields that you want to use. You might have your own specific fields. Now, these fields can be switched on and switched off at your leisure required disabled. So you can have a play with them and you can have them fields on your, your user registration. But what if you want to have your own custom fields? So let's just disable that for now. And let's go back to the front end and do a refresh. And that's gone. So we have, we're back to the normal user registration form. Okay, so custom fields. So let's have a look at custom fields. Now there's three areas that you can add custom fields to. The first area is content. So in there you have content and you have fields and field groups. And so if you have any articles that you want to add extra fields in, then obviously you create your fields and then they will appear in the article as you create the article. Okay, then if you go into components and contacts, you can add extra fields in your contacts as well. So you might have your phone number, email address, um, maybe your website, and there might be something else that you might want to add into contacts that you can add an extra field in. Then you go down to users and you have field groups here, which is what we're interested in. So what we want to do is, and this is a basic tutorial, is we're just going to add the birthday field. We want, when somebody fills in the actual fields on the user registration form, we want to ask them the birthday date as well. So we go into, we're in the fields area there and we go into new. Okay, so what we have here is uh, general options there. We've loads of options there that you can select from in the fields. Okay, the one we're interested in with the birthday is calendar. Okay, so I'm not going to do anything else. There are other options here to configure and everything else, but we're not going to do that. I'm just going to leave it for calendar for now. I'm going to save that. I'll just call it birthday. And we're going to save that. And then we're going to go back to the front page and we're going to refresh. And there you go. We have field and we have birthday. But you notice that it's grayed out. You can't type anything into it. And the reason why that is, is you have to allow access to that field. 
So if you go back into the back end and go back into the field again and you go into permissions, right here you have an option saying edit custom field value that's inherited which is not allowed so you need to change that to allowed and you need to save that okay so let's go back to the front end and let's do a refresh and now it's available now for you to type in the information you click on your date you can put in your birth date and then you can click on register so that's a very simple tutorial on how to set up a custom field depending on whether you want it in an article whether you want it in your contacts or whether you want it on your user registration form now the one thing about this as you can see is the heading fields is there and i i haven't found an option so far of how to remove that but i do have a workaround and it just means getting the CSS code and putting it in the custom.scss file. And so if you go to web development, the web development tool, and you highlight the fields there, and you'll see it has um, a font size of uh, 1.5. So if I set that to zero, and I put and I take a copy of that code and I put it into my custom file then that fields header will be gone so there you have it so that's how on a very basic level how you add custom fields to Joomla in Joomla version 4 so I hope that helps uh, for somebody who might be interested in doing that cheers